Hey, what's up reefers? Storms makes trees take deeper roots. So today is the fourth morning of blacking out my reef tank. Uh, so I've been having algae issues. It's either dino algae or cyanobacteria or just brown diatom. I decided to go ahead and black out the tank and dose hydrogen peroxide. It, it has been three and a half days. Now it's the morning of the fourth days. I rolled out of bed. I woke up like this. When you use enough pomade, you woke up like this with your hair in perfect shape. So I want to unwrap the tank with you. Originally, I was going to go five days, but then I get a little bit nervous. And I'll tell you why. Because I did such a half ass job wrapping it up, I included the radion fixture inside the wrap. At first, I didn't think too much about it, but you may have, be, you may have guessed what happened already. As I dose hydrogen peroxide, I'll unwrap this portion and stick my hand in and uh, drip. But as I stick my hand in, I felt how wet it is. All the condensation is all in there, so it's 100% humidity, everything is wet. And I get really nervous. Now, before I wrap this, I unplug everything. I should have taken out the fixture or at least wrap it underneath the light so the light is not included inside this. But I was lazy and I did not think it would be an issue. Apparently, it may be. So I wrap, I wrap the tank, including the lights, and I'm getting a little bit nervous. I feel like it's gonna get all wet inside, even though there's no power going to it, it's probably not good. So I'm gonna unwrap it a little bit earlier than expected. Uh, last, time, last time I tried to fight the algae, I did a three day back blackout and then followed by a five day blackout. In the last time, the three day did a lot. The algae become really thin layer. Um, and then I see that it's working. That's why I added a five day on to kind of kick the algae's butt. And this time I did a three day, well, three and a half day. On, on top of that, I also did H2O2 dosing. So I hope that that's enough to kick it. If not, I'll just put the tank back into a blackout again. This time, either taking the light fixture out first or wrap underneath the light. So this way the light will not get wet. So that's number one. Number two is that I am really afraid my bubble tip anemones is going to roam and sting everything in the tank. So three, three and a half days, maybe they are still in place, but I think like by five days, they'll get a little impatient and start moving around the tank. And that is not good news for the rest of the inhabitant of this aquarium. So that's number two. Number three, I think Yodomoto, if I pronounce your name right, or if I remember right, mentioned that my sea cucumber may not like the hydrogen peroxide dosing too much. Now I couldn't find too much info online regarding people's experience dosing hydrogen peroxide and how their sea cucumber reacted. So I figured, okay, let's play it safe. Let's just kind of yank, <laughs> yank the cover off and stop dosing after three days just to see if there's any negative effects on the sea cucumber. So with these three reasons, I decided to kind of undo the blackout just to see how, at what stage we are or if that's enough. If not, and if everything is still happy, I'm going to feed the tank first and then cover it up again properly and continue the blackout. So I am actually really nervous. And the reason the camera is all the way over there is because I want to kind of wrap it and have this first look together with you. I'm actually really nervous. I'm nervous. I mean, there's, there's a little smell coming out. So I'm like, actually, that's one of the reasons too. I'm like, I don't think a tank smelled like this. Or maybe I'm just kind of imagining things. So I'm going to unwrap this together and uh, hope for the best. Whew. Okay, I did not peek at all in this like three and a half days. I just kind of like open a little bit, stick my hands in, so I have no idea what to expect. It could be really good or really bad. And as you, uh, you probably cannot see, but water is already dripping, dripping down because of all the condensation. Last time I used cardboard boxes, so all the water went into, oh man, heat is just coming out. So last time I used cardboard boxes, so all the water condensation went into the paper. This time I used a tarp, so it's completely waterproof and the water condensation is just kind of collecting. And a good thing is that it kind of trails down, so even if the water went up to the light fixture, I was hoping that it's gonna kind of beads up and then flow off on the side, but we will see. Oh man. Yeah, water is just streaming down. Yeah, I'll do 
do from this side. I think more. That's it. Yeah, the top is really heavy, so it stays in place pretty well. It's just that I have to tape certain points down in order to maintain this shape. All right, are you guys ready? I'm really nervous, actually. Whew, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, my. Look at this. Okay, I'll bring you guys up. Both clowns are in an enemy. Anatomy is in place. Water looks really clear. And sand bed is clear. Even though, I mean, the sand bed typically is clear in the morning, but this is really clear. Water is really clear. Look at these guys. Oh, <laughs> Female clown noticed that the male clown snuck in at night and she started pushing him out. But as you can see, it's completely wet. Yeah, I'm really nervous about this actually. So I'm gonna let it dry out over for today before I try to even turn it on. See how it's even dripping water? Yeah, as I was, I did not think about this. I was pretty stupid. Lack of experience and common sense, right? But check this out. Oh, male clown got pushed out. Samba is completely clear. Um, I was worried about the sea cucumber, but you can see him right there. So I guess he is okay. All the f well, can see all the fish, but nothing seems out of place. And it has been three and a half days. And I'm dosing 10 milliliter per, uh, per 10 gallon, sorry, one milliliter of hydrogen peroxide per 10 gallon of water volume. So I was dosing about five millimeter of hydrogen peroxide per day. And everything seems normal. Everything's intact, nothing got knocked over. Let me zoom out. And I turn off the sump light as well. Move the black top out. Let's turn on, some light should be able to turn on. Yeah, nothing's wet. Uh, skimmer is not skimming. I think I, I guess I didn't turn up a little bit more. These guys. Uh, dirty, like, <laughs> like before the thing, so I gotta use the fancy vacuum to suck the dirt out. Okay, so. Some feels cleaner, or maybe it's just because I haven't seen it in a couple days, even though there's like uh, detritus in there. Uh, pronouncing it right now. Sand is clean too in the sump. Anything dead? Snail's now, now doing okay, they're still stuck to the wall. Uh, amphipods ramp, rampaging all over the place. Yeah, the sand bed is really clean. Take a look. So it's probably good that. Uh, the light's not on, so you can kind of have a clear look on the sand bed without the disco light effect. Uh, space Invader looks really thin, but it's not inflated, probably because it's no light. Same thing with the Elegant, so that is okay. Yeah, everything looks healthy. I'm happy with the results so far. And... Ah, oh, the Yasha Gobi Tunnel is sealed up. Let's see if they pop back out. Hopefully they do. Hopefully they do. Yeah, totally sealed up. Funny thing is like, see all those snails over there? Those are all serif snails. Um, normally they kind of dig under the sand. I wonder if the shrimp moved them there or they all just happen to decide to Burrow right at the Gobi's entrance. I guess they're hunkering down for the coming storm. But yeah, so far everything looks good. Seriously, nothing out of place. I'm really happy. Um, and look at the clowns. So uh, that's a win in my book. Icing on the cake would be 
that that was enough to kick the algae and algae does not come back and well I mean like you guys say I do have to fix the underlying problem and something is coming so later this afternoon I'm gonna turn on the light to make sure everything's okay as you can see it is really condensed but a good thing is that since it's condensation it's gonna be fresh water it's not salt water salt water is something that really kills the circuitry fresh water as long as it dries up without any mineral and stuff like that in there it should be okay so I'm gonna let it dry for a day and I'm gonna turn it back on and we should be back in business yeah, I'm just really happy to see both clownfish in the anatomy let's see how long this lasts huh I'm just gonna film them for a little bit oh no that was it Wow, well, it's nice while it lasted. Back to the doghouse for the mail. Poor guy. All right, guys. I'm gonna go get ready for work. I hope you guys have a good week and I will Talk to you later. See ya.